And then we look out towards the lake and the boat that's tied, the speedboat that's tied to the dock has broken away from the dock. One of the lines, right? Because there's two lines holding a speedboat to the dock. One of the lines had broken and the do the the boat was drifting away from the dock and then starting to hit the side of the dock, which is not good for the dock and not good for the boat. So my dad and I immediately run out down to the lake. We are in our you know regular clothes and we run into the water and try pushing the boat, trying to figure out how to get it away from the dock, but then also not you know, up to safety on the beach, but the waves were crashing. My mom had run over to the neighbor's house to get some help because they had a big group at that house. And so a few of them came running down to the water and were helping push the boat because we had to kind of, the way that the dock was situated in the lake and the way the waves were hitting it, we had to push the boat into the waves that were really strong to then pull it up towards the shore. So we finally got it up to the shore. We tied the boat to, I think, a tree branch or something up on the shore so that it would stay right there and it wouldn't move for the rest of the storm. And it was fine. By the time the storm, or once the storm ended, we were able to push the boat back out and get it tied up on the dock again. And all was good. These waves are like blood sugar. Okay, so, you know, on a on a beautiful day at the lake, even when it's bright and sunny out, no storms, you still get a little bit of waves. Those waves are just, you know, super super small, but they're just lapping at the shore very quietly, and there's this really small just up and down movement of the water. That's what you want for a normal, healthy blood sugar rate, just something that goes up and down because our blood sugar goes up and down every day. It's supposed to do that. Blood sugar it, issues, insulin resistance are like when that storm comes up. Okay, so blood sugar is like those waves. There's so much sugar running around your body and it's just creating all this havoc and insulin is like the rope keeping the boat to the dock. It's trying to hold on, but there's too much blood sugar, too many waves coming in. And so it just, it breaks and it doesn't work as it's supposed to. And so then you've got all this issues in the body when the rope breaks, when insulin can't keep the blood sugar levels regulated. And that's when you get issues with fertility. Um, you know, of course, we're here talking about fertility, but having those irregular blood sugar issues also, you know, creates mood problems, you know, irritability, anger, energy issues, fatigue, and sleep issues even. Uh, imbalanced blood sugar levels are a one of the most common reasons that people wake up in the middle of the night and aren't able to go back to sleep. Is that familiar to you? 